Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The truth of the matter is that sometimes intensity in bowl games can fall a little flat. That never happens here. Closed on Sunday, but open for business right now. The Chick-fil-A Bowl. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. Georgia Dome in Atlanta, the site for the Chick-fil-A Bowl, and the fans are electrified for this bowl game to begin. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke tastes, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. the 20-yard line. That was just a case of one lineman dominating another and making the play. It's second down, 15 to go. Ball in their own 20. Nice run there. Peterson gains about five yards on the run. Maybe five yards. Falk awaiting the return. Tackle made at the 40-yard line. He showed a good burst there. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Hit out of bounds at right around the 48 yard line. The Gators have a lot at stake here, including some possible record breaking performances. Records and stats are great, but I think to a man, these players say, let's win the game first, and then any accolades we get along with it, that'd be great. First and 10, ball on the 48. Pitches it, he's got the corner. Runs outside for a nice game. Looking for the corner. They'll bring him down at the 30. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 30-yard line. And he's tackled around the 30-yard line. defense got all up 
up into that option to disrupt it. The offense looks a bit unsettled after losing that battle. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. Touchdown. How do they let the tight end get so open on such a big play? That was poor defense. Looks like there was some miscommunication between the safety and the linebackers, which caused for him to get so open. He makes the PAT. It was a six-play, 60-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Gators are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Tackled after decent pickup. That's good for the That brings us second and five. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 30. He's going to try and scramble. Runs with it, and he's got room. And he hits him hard at the 45. Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right, and they still lose. That time they had tight coverage, which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off. Stop at the 48 yard line. That's a game of three on the way. That'll make it second and seven. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 48 yard line. Three down, three down. Mike 56, Mike 56. Now he's scrambling. And they got him. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. Inside the 45. Throws it deep. And it's intercepted. Well, the quarterback should have thrown that one out of bounds. There was just no room to get it past that safety. Ball on the 35-yard line. Florida is up by a touchdown. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. That brings us second and nine. Fashion football, definitely just give it to the fullback and let him grind it out for the first down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 50-yard line. And they hit him in the backfield. the 41. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. He's tackled at the 38-yard line. 
line. They've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Here's the eighth play of the series. Brought down at the 30-yard line. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Both offenses trying to find their rhythm in that first quarter. Low scoring and close right now. Florida leads 7-0. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Florida is up a score. Tries to get around the corner. Nice run there as they work the outside. This is the 10th play of the drive. And he's taken down at about the 23-yard line. From the 23-yard line, second down. And about the 25-yard line. And this is the 12th play of the drive. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. sack it's now fourth and long Florida can make this a two possession game with this field goal it's up so the freshman kicker isn't able to put it through and our score seven nothing Florida the quarterback comes back on the field and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive each possession gets more and more vital as the game goes on, especially when you're behind. You can't afford to make many more mistakes. And he can't get away from the pressure. This kid just doesn't stop. That's his second sack of the game. You know, for the rest of the game now, he's going to be looking for this guy every time he drops back to pass. Let's see if that throws off his timing. Looking to dig themselves out of a little hole here after the sack. It's second and 14. Lilly with a nice play fake. Tries to get around the corner. And he shoved out of bounds right around the 44-yard line. Two guys missed him. They had him in their grasp, but instead, he winds up getting the first by inches. I'm sure they're kicking themselves. From their own 44-yard line. First down. Mike 56, Mike 56. He's on the run. That's a great tackle at the 47. And he didn't get much on that scramble before they drilled him. Brad, that's a great way for the quarterback to get himself injured. He needs to be a lot more careful out there. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 47-yard line. He's under some heat. Slides down to the ground. Three yards there on the quarterback keeper. This guy is very physical, and he does a good job of taking on blockers.
about the 37-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 37. He's scrambling. Tackle made around the 36-yard line. He might have gained a yard on that scramble. and they need to get it to the 27. He wants it all. This one will fall incomplete. This just shows you that you don't need to be sacking the quarterback to disrupt the passing game. No good. He hooked it left. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Florida up seven points. And they got him for a loss. From their own 35-yard line. It's second down. Run, 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 run. Makes it out to about the 43. They'll bring him down at the 46-yard line. From the 46-yard line, first down. Nice run to the outside. Don gets about four yards on the option keeper. Florida is going to use their first time out of the half here. Makes the catch and look out. And he is drilled at the 35. From the 35 yard line, it's first down. Short over the middle, and he's tackled at the 23 yard line. This is the eighth play of the drive. Florida is up seven. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Drop back four yards on that one. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. Third and long here, and they hope to convert another one and keep this drive going. right around the 24-yard line. Florida is hoping to make this a two-score game. He gets it up, and it's long enough. He clanks it off the upright. No good. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Three down, three down. March 19, 
Garage 19. Right 56. Right 56. He heaves it deep. And a great catch. And they make the stop around the 24-yard line. That's just a great call by the coordinator there going to the air on first down. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. Yard line. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. He fights forward to about the 13. He zips it out to the left. End zone, touchdown. And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. Tacks on the extra point. A four-play, 76-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot, and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both offenses have played it pretty close to the best so far in this one. Yeah, because they've been so conservative, it's made it pretty easy for both of these defenses to be pretty dominant. Let's see an offense open it up and take a few chances. A missed field goal was the result of the last drive. We'll have to see if they can come through with something this possession. Yep, it was a rough go around for this kicker the last time. But this guy won't hang his head. If he has another opportunity to kick one, he'll be ready to go. And he tackles him hard at the 33-yard line. That makes it second and two. Check 15, check 15. Going deep. Has it to the senior. To the 10. Brought down inside the five. So at the end of the half, we're even at seven in this one. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Both teams wanted to establish a running game. Both teams were stubborn in trying to do so, and neither team was successful. Did you get the sense the defense knew what was coming? Hey, dude, first and 10 means run. Yeah, I think, I think when you do it every single time, it doesn't really uh, make it hard for a defense to figure out. You can become much more aggressive. you got to take some chances. I, you want to stick with the one. You want to have that balance. But if you don't push the ball down the field, then I never have to honor it. So mix in some first down passes and runs. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I, I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. And the second half just about set to get started. We're dead even. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. And off to the left. And he carries the ball for a nice game. From their own 29-yard line. Second down. And he hits him hard at the 32-yard line. Middle 
for a nice run. First and ten. Ball on the 36. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. So it's another third down upcoming here. You ain't going nowhere. Hey, watch that, watch that. And he's tackled right away. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 49. Toss left side. He's taken down at the 49-yard line. Loss of two on the toss play. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. heavy pressure. Missed tackle, and it falls incomplete. Harris is the punter. Here's the punt. No, they're going to throw it. Quick throw. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 37 yard line. Mike 56, Mike 56. And he's taken down at the 40 yard line. The quarterback tried to do a little too much by himself. Hey, maybe next time he'll get it out to the back so he can do something with it. And this is the 13th play of this drive. Strike complete, he's down. Fourth down. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. Florida could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks away, and it's wide left, no good. Every time you have a chance to finish a drive with points, you've got to capitalize. That time, they couldn't come through. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clinch up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. Quick strike to the receiver. He's tackled around the 46-yard line. From their own 46-yard line. First down. Peterson with the toss. Brought down at about the 47-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. I'm going to run you over. I'm going to run you over. Choose the mic. Throw 
throws a strike over the middle. Tackle at the 46. The pass good for maybe seven yards. Hey, they picked up a nice gain of seven yards on that play. Great pass. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Play action. Defense coming. Slides down. Wow. Awesome running here on third down. That can bring a lot of confidence to an offense when they can pull that off so successfully. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Nice catch on that one. And down he goes. Right around the 28-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 28. made right around the 16-yard line. They run left and he'll lose yardage. From the 19 yard line. Second down. Zips it to the tight end. That's a great tackle at the eight yard line. That makes it third and three. It's the ninth play of the drive. Finds a man. Touchdown. Catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. They got great concentration from everyone to connect on that flag pattern. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. Tennessee with a six-point lead. And he converts the extra point. A nine-play, 66-yard drive, and they put up seven points. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Volunteers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Tackled after decent pickup. through three quarters now, and still the defenses are shining. Tennessee's lead is a touchdown. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. to the 40. They'll bring him down around the 42-yard line. We've got a first and 10. All on the 42-yard line. He might have a 
a chance. Makes it out to about the 46. And the tailback broke that one for a very nice game. Give the offensive line some kudos there. They blocked very well up front to create the holes for this back. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. He's tackled at the 44. is it. They've got all four downs to get in the end zone. Defense has had two stops already down here. He fights forward to about the seven. This is the eighth play of this drive. run there. Carter comes away with five yards on the carry. The offense is down by seven, so this is a very, very big third and goal. We're at the one. And a nice move to finish it off. Touchdown. When you're that close to the end zone, it's always a smart play to find your blockers and follow them into the end zone. The extra point to tie this game up. He makes the PAT. A nine-play, 75-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. 14 apiece. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Let's see what they can do on offense as they take possession after the return. There's a lot of time left, and I think the important thing for this offense is to get their momentum back and move the ball down the field. He fights forward to about the 26. From their own 26-yard line, second down. He's scrambling. Three, three, get him, get him. Breaks one. And they make the stop around the 35-yard line. Give up too many passes like that, and the game will be done before you know it. They cannot let these receivers get behind them. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. Up the middle for a nice game. third down and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. He makes it out to maybe the 20 yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. 
Michael after a decent run up the gut. That's a deep five. That brings him second and five. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 15 yard line. The 10. And he tackles him hard at the seven yard line. We're at play number nine of this current drive. They bring him down in the backfield. This defensive lineman's got the kind of size and strength where he can disrupt the play all by himself. That brings up a second and goal. Ball on the seventh. On the run. They'll drop in for a loss. That's a great play by the defense. There's nothing like a defense being able to slip off of a block get into the backfield of the offense, and then make a play in the backfield to be able to create some momentum, possibly, for this defense. It's the 11th play of the drive. Runs outside for a nice game. Johnson gets about four yards on the play. The Gators will use their first time out of the half. This should be an easy field goal. It's up, and they tack on three points. And that gives them the lead. I know that I call kickers head cases, but this kid isn't one. It's like he doesn't even feel the pressure. He just drills this one. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Talk about a pressure-filled situation. Carter's playmaking abilities have got him to this point, Kirk, and now he's got a chance to put it away. Well, you're talking about one of the most explosive players on this field, and if I'm running this offense, I'm finding any possible way to get the football into his hands. He has the potential of taking the ball to the house anytime he touches the ball. It's pressure-packed moments like this where great players need to step up. He's taken down around the 26-yard line. Don picks up a yard on the scramble. And he's brought down there by the senior at linebacker. That won't be the last time today we'll be talking about this young man. Under a minute left. Just throws this one away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. To get back in this game here in the fourth, this third and goal is vital. He's looking for his man. And he hauls it in. And he's immediately tackled. Really a nicely thrown ball and a good job by the receiver to run right under him. He sails it long. Oh, he had the pick, and he dropped it. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 50. Wants to throw outside, and it's incomplete. You know, for a safety, this guy has really good hands. I'm very surprised to see him drop an interception like that could come back to haunt his team as well. Let's go, D. Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. and now the offense has got a chance to win it. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Just an unbelievable stop when they had to have it on fourth down, and that should be the football game. This might be it. They've got the lead, but if they add to it, they know they've got a victory. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this block. The Gators, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. Tennessee has a three-point lead. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. Two times, two times. This one's in the books. The volunteers take this one. 17-14. 
As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kurt? Well, this one really could have gone either way. Florida had plenty of chances to win this football game, but it wasn't meant to be today. All you can do now is try to bounce back after a close loss like this. Here's another look at our selection for the EA Sports Player of the Game. For Tennessee, they tack on another win to improve to 11-3.